Hi guys, it's Lee here. Um, first off the bat, I'd like to apologize. Um, so I didn't put a video out last Saturday, but I did film one. Um, so I did do the footage for a, um, a progress video, uh, but something went wrong uh, with one of the actual videos I took and it was the, it was the main meat of the, um, of the video. So it was no point me putting a start and a finish with no, you know, meat. So um, I do apologize for that, but massive progress guys on all fronts of life. I, no, I was going to make a dirty joke then, but I'm not going to. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so we've had massive push on with the uh, with the pond, which I'm going to show you right now. And as you can see, guys, it's actually filled up again. So I filled this up uh, a few days ago. Um, so let's rewind. A few weeks ago, I, em I, I emptied the pond with my fish and I put them down to the uh, quarantine pond, which I'll show you in a second. Um, from there, what I done is I done a uh, a PP treatment on this when there was no fish in there, but a supersonic. Hang on, the missus is here with uh, a cup of coffee. Cheers, lover. Joe Exotic. I think about this poor fella every time I have a cup of tea. Don't we? Oh, no, I don't think you can. Sorry, guys. If I, I've got to cut this off, I've got a massive hole in my crotch, and uh, I've got some live bait hanging out. <laughs> um. It's not very lively, to be honest. I am 45. However, where was I? Potassium permanganate. So when I moved the fish out, I done an, I done an absolutely huge, real strong potassium permanganate, and um, I, 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 I chucked in some chloramine tea as well, and I just made a concoction. It was insane, uh, and I put a few Ver, Vercon tablets in there. It was all bubbling up. It looked like grot bags cauldron. It was amazing. Uh, and it, the bucket was getting really warm, so I hoofed that in really quick. So, and I run that around the pond until it went brown. So I run it around for about 12 hours until the next morning, emptied everything out of the pond, jet washed everything out, cleaned it as good as I could, flushed out the bottom drain, flushed out the return pipes. I, I'd done the business. Um, also, what I'd done then is I refilled the Nexus 220, um, and I also, I done a, a, an internal, so I, I, I corned it off from the pond, I closed all the uh, intakes, the outtakes, the middle takes, the take twos, and um, did another massive strong PP treatment in there. I'm surprised it didn't even melt the plastic, right guys, it was absolutely carnage, right? So I, I done that, um, then I flushed it out again after about four or five hours. Um, and then I emptied all the media out of the uh, of the Nexus, let it dry in the sun a little while in some of my big containers, uh, swilled it all out with fresh water, um, jet washed the inside of the Nexus, um, filled up the pond again, half full with water, boom, flushed out, so I purged the bottom drain again, like a good one. Uh, then I just generally cleaned everything. I, I left everything alone then, I was, happy in the thought there is nothing living in there no organism can live through that no amoeba no babiba no justin bieber will live through it maybe justin bieber will he's quite thick skinned poor lad gets a lot of grief off uh, off his fans and his haters i quite like justin anyway he's a nightmare on the piss mate oh i took him down to wine street in swansea once ah oh, what a fella Anyway, so what I've done from there is I've put the fish down there. I've been treating them with some salt. Um, I've taken them out once a week, really, and topically treat them. The, uh, the three smaller um, uh, fish I've got from the uh, Momotaro koi farm, lovely, not mark on them. They're thriving. The two bigger ones I've got, the, uh, the big Issa Showa, bit of a mark on there it's slowly closing up so uh, uh that's closing up and i've got a, a, a saki fish farm kahaku his is really closing up it was really red all the way around there now it's slowly closing up closing up i'm going to check them again today and i'm going to heal the animals okay right so what i've done from there is fish have been down there i've been working on my pond like i said i've cleaned it uh and i've done some additions to the pond which i'm going to walk through and talk through with you in a minute 
absolutely buzzing because, um, well, I've got a Momotaro shower and uh, never thought I'd get one. It's like Christmas in the middle of summer. Wicked. Um, so without further ado, what I'm going to do is say a prayer for Joe. And um, I am going to show you around the pond. Oh! Right. I'll tell you what I have ordered, guys, which hasn't turned up in the post yet. Loads of stuff, actually. I'm thinking about it now. So um, I've ordered myself a big blue. Um, no more that small Evolution Aqua Detoxer. That's for children. But I'm going to use that on my, um, on my quarantine pond because, uh, you know, running it you know, slow through there. Turning over 25% uh, of that, you know, 400 gallon pond is slow trickle. So that should do that. I'm not gonna chuck it away, obviously. Um, what I have also ordered is a, oh, shit the bed. I can't remember the name of them. So I'll show you in the pump house and I'll, I'll tell you, but it's a, uh, it's uh, someone commented actually on my uh, last video. And I do appreciate all these comments. I try to get back to every single one. I'm a bit of a mong when it comes to uh, uh, YouTube. So, um, I do try to, sometimes I, I miss a comment on an old video, if you know what I mean. I'm quite good with the new ones, because I get loads and loads of comments for about 12, 24 hours, and then everyone gets bored of me, and I never see them again. But sometimes, uh, I amuse someone, and they, they mention something on one of the old videos. So if you have done that, I'm very sorry. Uh, so, yeah, so I've got a new UV. It's an 80 whatever it looks like a lightsaber i think you normally put it into drums but what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it into my nexus because because i've just done this backy shower the pipe work uh mate i would have had to redo the whole pipe work for this pond and um hopefully the missus don't hear this but i'm going to double the size of this pond next winter this winter next winter we're ready for fiberglass in <coughs> are you fat? Watch your back blast. I talk to her, don't worry. I just say the right things and touch the right places and she always gives in. Um, um, anyway. Anyway, yeah, UV lightsaber. Can't remember what it's called, um, but you'll see it in the next update. I ordered it like three days ago from Cotswold Koi. They're a little bit slow this time. Just a little bit. Um, right, let me show you what I've done to the pond. So let me spin you around. Kerbum. Right. So, we've mounted this bad boy on. That's where he's gonna live. I'm gonna change these screws. I've got some uh, marine grade stainless steel screws to go on there very shortly. I have to feed the wire through. Possibly, should have done that before I just filled up the backy shower. Oh, doesn't matter. I'm a genius. I can do it. I can thread it. Um, short and thin goes right in. Have you heard that somewhere before, James? Anyway, so yeah, backy shower, guys up and running and i must say since i've put so i've got 50 kg i know there's one box missing but i the the other kg of, of uh, media was in there i think i used it to send something off to someone in the post but anyway there's 50 kg in there so we've got the, the bottom is full the second one is full the third one's half full top one's got nothing in it so like i said before guys my plan has worked the treat and what we've got is, if you can see it from the front here, just where my little finger is there, there is a two inch pipe with a bulkhead going through here, it comes up, and then it comes all the way up, and it tees off the top, which I'll show you inside in a second, right? I've left an audible gap each side there, so for the winter, I can actually make a little polycarb cocoon for this bad boy to try to retain a little bit of heat if I need to. Okay, uh, that was a very, very good idea from one of my subscribers who's also been trying to help me get some baitrol. By the way, guys, anybody got any baitrol? Please save a fish. And if you've got some left over, please send it to me because um, I need it. Poor fishes. But if you do, genuinely, please. I've been trying, I've ordered some baitrol from a, from a place, but it just hasn't turned up. So, <sighs> whatever. Uh, let's go inside the backy shower and see how I've executed this fine, fine piece of engineering. Okay, so here we go. Kaboom. So this is how you can see it's worked. So 
Now, I know normally you, uh, you'll put the two inch onto a three inch spray bar for no back pressure. But trust me, I can run this at 30,000 litres an hour and it's absolutely fine. Look, there's hardly anything coming through these sections here, all the way. But I've got a nice coverage. If I turn it up by another 5,000 litres an hour, these actually, it's perfect, it's great. Um, like I said, I've got half in there, full and a full. So you can see the pipe, where, where the pipe runs, goes all the way through the centre. I've actually cut a uh, little section of the grid out there. And guys, it's, it's, I, haven't even, I haven't even stuck this on. This is actually loose, okay? So if I ever want to clean it, it just comes out. Any, any, um, leaks from, any leaks from within the pipes and all that kind of stuff, if it's in the shower, who cares? You know, it's not a problem. I do have to attach the shower at some point to the fence. Not a problem, but I am going to put uh, another little um, support behind there. So I'm well chuffed with that. We're getting a little bit of spray back. A little tiny bit of spray back. Um, I'd like to say it looks like uh, the bedside cabinets after a light night of passion with my wife, but it doesn't no more. So um, no spray backs in the bedroom. But what also I've done is in the winter, what I've done to retain the heat in this pond to keep the, the heating costs down a little was I floated polycarb sheets onto the top of this pond. Now I'm convinced I've got a couple of marks on my koi on the top and I think they've, um, they've just marked themselves on the sharp corners and there was no other way for me to put the polycarbs sheets on this pond until now. What I've done guys is um, when I was in there cutting all of this out and making carnage if you can see where my finger is she likes it just like that but that in the corner is exactly the same as that thing in the corner now this here is exactly the same height as this here so what the plan is in the winter i can get um a nice uh i don't know uh i don't know what a uh, one by one and a half inch treated timber She'll go all the way across there. She, she goes over the skimmer to that corner there. Then she'll come all the way across to this corner here, all the way across there. And then what I can do, so obviously I've got supports in the corners. When I have put the supports on the corners, believe it or not, the polycarb sheet will fit just above that weir. So the polycarb sheet will fit snug against there after I've cut this one in, kaboom. So the water will come out underneath the polycarb sheet what I'll do with this is I'll, uh, I'll saw, uh, what do you call it, a uh, hole saw a, uh, an area here and what I'll do is I'll make some sort of modification so it filters into that so when that's running it just goes straight underneath the polycarb sheets but um, I'm buzzing about that idea I'm also actually looking forward to winter now because laying that sheets on the, uh, on the top is an absolute nightmare and then um, also, what I can do when I want to check the coil is, so I think one polycarb sheet will probably go to about here. The next one will probably go to about here. So right in the section, and I'll have two spurs going across, and then I'll have one to sort of a hinge so it opens and closes. Or maybe I even just do a little one little hatch. I don't know. We'll see. But that's a that's another little project for the winter. Also, what I've done is I phoned up Absolute Koi, talked to Darren sent him a little mail of Enos and he's got a um, a lid I've just ordered a lid but bar the cutouts the three inch cutouts for the tube on the top so my lid will be totally in encased do you know what I mean so that is going to be good that's on the way uh, I don't know how long it's going to take because it's obviously a slight modification in the old uh, manufacturing um, part of things so fingers crossed well whenever that comes I don't really care but it's on order, so that's good. Need to order another 30 kg of Backy House Media. Wow! So that's gonna be good. So, what else have I done? Fill the house, let Right, guys, I've just spotted something in the garden. I'm only joking, I love beer grills. Right, uh, another thing we've got is the filter house, guys. So here we are, let me turn the little light on. Nothing much has changed in this filter house, apart from let me push that back down. Come on. Apart from now, I've got a 30,000 on here. So it comes straight down, two inch, all the way through there, swept bend on here, 
all the way through, 90, boom, straight in. So that's good. This was the bypass for the skimmer last time, an inch and a half. Um, what I've done is I've left that on. Um, I didn't want to take it off because A, it could be uh, another inlet or outlet. You know what I mean? Like, it, who knows? It was no point me taking that off. I've left that on. What I have got is a little rubber cap to go on there. Um, I got a little, a little rubber cap to go on there, but I've just left that for a second, so that's there. Um, yeah, so like I said, guys, I've just put a pond bomb in here, and also half of one of uh, the um, what's it called? Uh, the Pure Plus uh, gel, a uh, filter gel start. So um, this stuff is absolutely. It's clear, it's all, it's, I know it's discoloured, but it is as pure as the snow. And it actually smells of nothing. So uh, there's no bacterias on there or anything. So that's basically that. I haven't done much to that at all. The only thing I have actually almost started is I've got an armoured cable down there. So um, the armoured cable will be up and running very soon. Uh, Buzz eyes going nice. Acer is going nice, so here's my armoured cable. I haven't actually put it very tidy in there, but she goes so oh look at that. Very cool. Oh, oh looks like Jumanji. Right, um so little koi update. Look at the little bad boys. So they are looking a lot better guys, alright? Um they are looking a lot better. Um I'm not gonna go in there because I don't want to wet the camera, but this thing is working surprisingly well you know I, I only have to clean it out maybe once a week but I am limited I'm not feeding them very much at all they're having a tiny handful every afternoon just to keep them going me tomatoes are coming on me chilies are coming on and I've even got some runner beet oh my shit where have they come from guys I'm a, I'm a farmer <laughs> Yes, guys! I can't believe I've grown these! Shit the bed! That one's just given in, but the, look at them, man! I'll have to put something like this so they can climb up here. That's incredible! So, um, I cleaned out this the other day because I had all my rubbish here. But it will not be long, guys, until I'm back onto this pond. Um, and the reason why I won't be that long getting back into that pond because Black Betty's nearly finished. So unfortunately, I took some of the stuff out of this boat, but there's Black Betty. Don't look at the orange, that's still to be done. But I've had these custom fabricated. This is my A bar, bolts onto the transom, bolts onto the bottom. That's not been bolted on yet because I'm still working on bits. Um, this has got a, a lovely finish on it now. So, Guys, this looks, um, let me show you the back of the transom. So this is all finished. Finished my trailer, I've had to cut my trailer and weld some stuff on so this supports the transom very, you know, as good as I can. Got all my stainless steel bolts in there, ready to put my engine on. Um, like I said guys, this actually does come out like black. Once I've jet washed it, it's, uh, it's pretty much just dust on there now. Um, also, what I've fabricated is, this section here, so this actually fits around here. I've cut these two steps out here. Um, I've still got to uh, finish this today, basically. Um, got my new hydraulic steering on. Uh, got my digi and dodgies on. Uh, I've got this stuff on. My isolation switch. Um, yeah, I've got a lot more stuff to go on there. But uh, she is very close to be you know, water worthy now. We're talking a matter of two more weeks, this Black Betty is going out. And that, that's a statement. After this weekend, guys, this boat will be pushed right along. The engine will be on and it will be, it will look fast just on the trailer, trust me. And then I've got to um, just do the finishing touches then, add my, um, my GPS system, uh, my fish finders, uh, oh, Guys, had to order these, had to order these rod holders, guys. So the rod holders go on here. Oh, 
Oh, and we can we can tilt them out as well. So when it's like that, basically they're going to go. They can tilt out to um, to basically trawl. So guys, I don't think you realise, but I'm going to do so many GoPro, uh, f so much footage on this boat fishing around Pembrokeshire and stuff. It's I'm going to camp out on it. Yeah, guys. So you know. Literally, if everyone likes fish, you've got to look forward to me coming out on this boat because I am going to be doing overnighters off the coast of Pembrokeshire. I'm just going to sleep on the inside in a all snuggled up in a little water in a little sleeping bag. So I'm actually a bit nervous about that, but um, yeah, I'm going to be doing overnighters in the pitch black fishing off the coast, off the reefs. Uh, if I die, I die. Been blown up once and shot, so it can't be that bad. Um, what else? I, I yeah, like I said, you know, really look forward to this boat being done, guys, because it's going to be such good footage. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a GoPro holder up there, so it's looking forward. I'm also going to put a GoPro holder on here. Oh, mate, it's going to be wicked. We are going <laughs> to have some fun on this thing. Um, so now the fish pond is uh, the koi pond is pretty much done. For today, I thought I'd just do this little video to update everyone because everyone was like, where's the video from last week? Well, it's gone. It's got corrupted. It got broken. So I, I, can't, I can't put that out. But anyway, I've leapfrogged a week. We've done a lot. Backy showers on. I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing, guys. Yeah. Hey, guys, as well, do me a favor. If anyone can comment, okay? Now, I'm trying. I'm trying to work out how to use this um, Proffy drum feeder. Oh my God, it's like, I just can't work it out. I must, obviously it's like, it's mad. I just, anyway, I, what I've been doing, I've been, pra I've been messing around with it, with a bucket underneath it and seeing how much it feeds every time. I don't know, mate, I don't know. So if there's an online tutorial, on YouTube, I've looked for one on YouTube, but I can't find one. Um, but I wish someone would do something on that. But anyway, guys, I hope you like the video. If you do like it, subscribe, thumbs up, or a thumb down, whatever. Thumbs or thumbs. Um, and um, I'll definitely do another video in a few days' time. You'll definitely have another video this weekend. So actually, I did do one last weekend, because this is the one for last weekend, I guess, and I'll do another one this weekend. I promise you.